Hi, welcome back to my channel. Why are so many celebrities admitting that they don't think showering is that important? And it's totally of their own volition. No one is coming up and holding them hostage and saying, hey, tell everyone you don't think showering is good. No, they're just, just dropping that info very casually in interviews. A lot of celebrities have admitted to this recently. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal, Kristen Bell and her husband, Dax. Uh, Mila Kunis, Ashton, they've all said bathing isn't super important in one way or another. And I won't sit here and lie and say that I've showered every single day over the last 18 months. I haven't. There were days where I didn't leave my room other than to eat because I just was playing video games or I was, you know, just trying to forget about the existence of the outside world. Regardless, I, I haven't showered every single day. Um, but these people aren't saying that. They're saying that they're not bathing as like a positive thing. And they fall into two camps. The first are adults who have children who are saying that they won't wash their kids unless their kids are like physically covered in filth and dirt. But if they go to bed, if the kids go to bed before their approved shower time, they won't wake the kids up. Which, first of all, Huh? You can't wait till a kid's all muddy to wash them off. Kids are dirty, dirty creatures. And two, that's your job as a parent. A kid doesn't know why they have to take a bath. A four-year-old doesn't know that. They just know that when it gets to be nighttime, it gets to be bath time. They don't know the reason they're doing it. They're not going to get up from the dinner table and say, Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the salmon I prepared for you. Uh, if you need me, I'm going to go take a shower really quickly to just clear my mind, wash the day off me, get, you know, nice and ready, a little relaxed for bed. I hope you enjoy your Chardonnay. I'm assuming that Kristen Bell drinks Chardonnay. If you need me for anything, I'll be in my robe. Hurricane Henry's happening right now, and I'm very glad that that camera has not shut off. No, but no, the kid doesn't know to do that. They're this many. They don't know. They don't know anything. Uh, the other group of celebrities are just people who don't shower. And they think that's a good thing. Like Jake Gyllenhaal who said, I find bathing to be less necessary. And I do think there's a whole world of not bathing that is really helpful for skin maintenance. And we naturally clean ourselves. Which like is technically a little true. But also, Jacob. Come on now. If we refer to the chart, again, I, I haven't showered every day. But on the days that I didn't shower, I didn't think, oh, this is so good for me. This is so, I'm just making my skin more radiant. No. I was depressed and not dealing with it well. But one thing you'll notice about all these celebrities is they're all white. And this should come as no surprise because I remember in the summer of 2019, I was living in a friend's apartment in Harlem. I was subletting it. Uh, and it was a very, I was only there for two months. So I remember very clearly what events happened while I was that apartment, while I was at that apartment, before I moved in with a couple of friends who were looking to replace a bad roommate. I lost my wallet and I was like, there's no way I'm ever getting this back. And then my neighbors found it. And so I made them some cookies. Uh, I finished Love Island season one and that was great. And I started making friends outside of college for the first time ever. It was a very formative couple of months in the, the, the summer of 2019. Uh, but one other thing that happened in the summer of 2019 came the revelation via Twitter that a lot of white people don't wash their legs and feet because in their eyes, the soap from the lathering of the chest and arms, when, when the water from the shower hits them, that lather will trickle down their legs and feet and thus their whole body will be clean. And I don't know a whole lot about soap technology, but I do know that if you wanna clean something, first you have to actually apply soap to the thing that you want to clean. And then it helps if you move it around. You can't just like put soap on something and then immediately wash it off. Uh, if you do that, then you're a man in a public restroom because men wash their hands like they're speed running the damn thing. It's disgusting. 
so all of this being said, I'm less interested in why they're doing it, but more interested in who is going to be the next celebrity to say that they don't shower and that they think it's a good thing that they don't shower. This is not saying which celebrity doesn't shower. Everyone knows the answer to that is any man who's method acting. It's part of their process of getting into character and really finding their way into the role. That's just a given. I think one celebrity who we will definitely not hear saying that they don't shower is Howie Mandel. He's a notorious germaphobe. And I think that he might be like The Rock in that he takes three showers a day, but Howie probably doesn't do as many workouts in a day as The Rock. He just wants to make sure he's nice and clean. Uh, one celebrity couple who I think probably wouldn't bathe their kids that much is Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton. They don't have any kids together, but Blake Shelton is a stepfather to a couple of Christina's, not Christina's, Gwen's children. I don't know why I messed that up. And I think that Blake would be like not trying to overstep the line. And so if Gwen forgets that it's bath time, Blake's not going to say anything. But my one celebrity who I think is the real stinker, who definitely isn't showering, thinks it's a good thing, thinks it's a positive in his life, is Jerry Seinfeld. And I know this sounds like a bit of a weird pick, but hear me out. Jerry Seinfeld is worth $950 million. So for all intents and purposes, he's a billionaire. And every other billionaire is into some weirdo shit. That's just a fact. Every billionaire is into weird stuff. And he's technically, he's not a billionaire. But what's $50 million when you've got $950 million? He's a billionaire. Um, the other thing is a lot of Jerry's early stand-up was comedy of the mundane and about just the day-to-day -day activities that most people did. And he would take those and make jokes about them and make comedic observations about them. Uh, and so now that he's worth $950 million, he doesn't have to do a lot of those mundane day-to-day -day tasks that most people do. So who's to say showering also isn't necessarily part of that daily routine. Another thing about Jerry's early stand-up is he was never afraid of going against the grain and going against what society deemed as normal. And that has definitely continued on to this day. He's very proud of the fact that he'll go against what everybody else is thinking. Um, this quote, well, I didn't do it very much. I didn't know that much. I just did it a little, but I liked it. This is about his time in Scientology. Jerry Seinfeld, very briefly in his 30s, was a Scientologist, and he enjoyed it. He also said about it, Scientology is not my complete wacko resume. It's just one aspect. So... If Jerry's got this wacko resume, who's to say that not showering is thing number two on that resume after Scientology? And my honorable mention for a celebrity that doesn't shower would have to be the Affleck brothers, Ben, because of that tattoo on his back. We've all seen it. So we know that he makes bad decisions. And Casey because of the way his hair looks and has looked for the past couple of years. Uh, I think it's safe to say that he might just shower from the shoulders down. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.